What is up, everybody? Tyler here with the 100 Day Hustle, and I'm going to take a, sh a few minutes to go through and show you how to quickly uh, edit some of your images to make it look a, bit, a little bit more professional. However, I do want to let you know it is ideal to take your photos uh, with the pure white background from the get-go, so you don't need to do this. I do not go in and edit my videos. Um, this is for something, uh, this photo that you actually see here, this nautical shirt, um, was taken with a $5 camera that I bought, uh, used from the local market or pawn shop, I can't remember, and I did not have a lighting kit at the time. Uh, this is actually one of the very first, uh, the first month of me selling on eBay, this is what uh, what my photos would turn out like. So I would actually go in here and Photoshop these. This is, as you can see, I had a, I did have a white shop, or excuse me, a white sheet uh, as a background. Um, so we'll hop right into it as far as if you do want to clean it up, we'll show you how to do it right away. Um, in Photoshop, we got to open, you're going to hit G to select the paint tool, or you can go over here to your toolbar. Um, and then you want to have white selected or whichever color you want to paint. Um, X will switch these colors around for you. So white, and all we're going to do, we're just going to literally just paint bucket this out. It shouldn't be too hard. As you can see, one click, I'll undo that. One click, I get all that done. Um, so literally, I am just clicking around and removing this stuff. So right there, it's pretty much everything. From there, uh, a few different methods you can do. You can hit E to bring up your eraser tool, um, bring up the size, kind of just erase it. Now it is erasing the white. Don't fret over that. Uh, those check marks you see. Um, this actually didn't turn out the edges quite as sharp as they should. Um, there is a way we can go in and feather out the edges if need be, if I can remember. But that's nothing I would remember or uh, whatever, take my time to do it. We'll just kind of go in here, clean this stuff up, and then you hit G again, and then we'll just paint that white. And again, depending on how, uh, how much you really want to get into this, oops, that's up to you. Um, so that's pretty much what I would throw up on eBay, especially in the beginning. I didn't go in there you know, too much. I mean, nobody's viewing it. This is at 181%. The biggest this would be, I'll show you guys, um, is that. So we can kind of clean that stuff up. So that's that. That's pretty much a really quick one. Uh, just use the paint bucket, click, click, click. And that's the uh, a simple and effective if you don't uh, aren't taking pure white photos, which I highly recommend. So moving on, I'll show you a much, uh, you know, a, a worst case scenario, how to get your white background. Um, and that would be this guy. I stole this from the local marketplace, one of the, one of the apps or uh, classified sites. So again, we have our paint bucket selected. Um, as you can see, you're not getting the same um, effect. And when I click that, half the guy goes away. Um, so this isn't really going to be as effective, and I don't want to spend time going in here with the eraser and you know trying to follow, follow all these edges and all that fun stuff. Uh, that's no fun. So we're gonna undo it all, and I'll show you guys another method. Um, I don't even know what this thing is or why somebody would buy it. it looks like it's the size of a uh, coin purse. All right, uh, we are going to select our lasso or the L button. Um, we're gonna hold down, uh, once you have this selected, we're gonna hold down this to bring up other options. We're gonna use our magnetic lasso to make this super fast and fun. Um, I hold down uh, Alt or Option and then the scroll wheel to zoom in. So this is uh, kind of centered. But realistically, um, with the magnetic, what it's going to do, it is auto the uh, algorithms in Photoshop are going to figure out what is in the foreground, what is in the background, or what you're trying to select. Um, this makes it a lot quicker. And I'll show you kind of how quick you can go. Um, and you can be as anal as this as you want with this, or as detailed for this uh, short video. We'll keep it short and sweet to the point. Um, so there you go. This is pretty much everything selected. It is not perfect. Um, I'll show you how to touch it up. And you, again, you can get as detailed as you want with this. Um, what you're going to do uh, with the lasso tool still selected, I'm going to hold down in this situation. I'm going to hold down my connect, commit, uh, excuse me, Alt key, which is Option. Um, as you can see, it brings up a magnet or minus sign symbol, and I'm going. I'm going to, uh, as you can see, I clicked out there. 
And what you can do, you can control Z it in case you do. Um, but we're going to subtract out that line. And even here, I can get in. So you can get in as detailed as you'd like, I think. So we're going to hit Shift. We actually got to add this piece on. Uh, same down here. We're actually going to subtract, subtract this out with our Option key. And again, like I said, if you really wanted to, you can get in there and change all that. We're not going to do it for this sake of time. Um, I think I want to subtract this out, right? Yes. And that's pretty much that. And we'll, we'll just go in here and we'll add this corner in. So that's that. What we're going to do is you're going to go up here to select or uh, up command and I will do it as well. But we'll show you here, select and inverse selection. So this is no longer selected everything out here from the edge of the image is and i'm just going to delete it um, so that leaves us with no background uh, we'll control d to deselect everything hit g for a paint bucket and do that so you can see these edges aren't perfect there's a few different ways you can go in. you can go in and clean up with the eraser uh, you could have spent more time uh, with the lasso tool cleaning it up um, and this is something that needs to be definitely cleaned up uh, you can do it with the eraser tool um, and when you do export, if you export in JPEG, that'll just default to a white, but I'd paint it in. I'll show you there. Oops. And I am all over the place with this uh, scroll rail. So that's that and a, a quick overall view. This is obviously going to be a lot quicker. A few clicks and an eraser will do that. This will be fine to go up on eBay. This takes a little bit more time. I would not recommend doing this method, but I figured I'd show you guys um for the sake of it so i hope you like it uh click like on uh, smash that like button and hit subscribe to the channel i'll be doing more of these if you'd like to do it um i'm also doing amazon merch now and i am the one creating design so i can show you how to do uh different of effects not that i'm a professional by any means but i you know played with amazon or uh, photoshop uh, for quite a while so how to get to some cool cool neat designs to make your products unique on amazon merch so let me know what you guys think and i'll see you on the other one